tomorrow night from Saturday Night Live. Kevin Nealon, Adam West going to be here, and the sandwich girl, Chelsea Roush. So check that show out. It'll be good. Okay, we're back. Uh, Russ Meyer's coming up. But first, we'll be right back after this dog licking peanut butter off a photo of Steve Allen. <laughs> Business. You got a bob and weave. That's right. <laughs> that was very witty. Yes, thank you. <laughs> ah, I've been taken to the woodshed once again. All right, my, <laughs> my next guest directed the films Beyond the Valley of the Dolls, Vixens, and Beneath the Valley of the Ultra Vixens. He's one of the great cult directors of our time. Please welcome Russ Meyer. <laughs> Now, help us out here. Um, not everyone here tonight has seen a Russ Meyer film. Maybe you could, uh, for us, describe the experience one gets when one watches a Russ Meyer film. Well, I, uh, I put out a film that uh, has uh, big, ball, uh, big uh, bazooms and uh, square jaws. Uh, I got see. tripped around. Uh, they're, they're comedies. They're cartoons. Mm -hmm. uh, a good example of, of that is uh, Beyond the Valley of the Dolls, a film that I made uh, at Fox and Roger Ebert uh, did the script, who is familiar to everybody here, I'm sure. He's yes, the stout so, gentleman. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. He's the, the fat one. Uh, so, I didn't say that. Yeah, now, uh, so that's right, you collaborated with, uh, with Mr. Ebert on this movie. He did the writing, he wrote it? That's correct, yes. All right, now these films, uh, there's a certain theme in your movies, you'd, I'd, I'd say. You have an obsession with women's breasts, is that fair? Mm, I wouldn't say it's an obsession, but I, I care for them a great deal. <laughs> All right, fair enough. And uh, this, is, this, is, this has been carried through in a lot of your work. Uh, there's been, uh, actually your film, uh, your first film was the second movie ever to get an X rating, isn't that right? Uh, the picture Vixen. The first mm -hmm. picture to get an X rating was Girl on a Motorcycle starring Marianne Faithful. It was a Warner Brothers picture. Mm -hmm. That's when they, they set up this Cara thing with the ratings. And uh, Warner's were so, was so shocked they just shelved the picture. But it was very good for me uh, to go out with that first X rating. Uh, you know, there are X ratings and then there are triple X ratings, but this was a, an official category of the, of the rating system run by... Uh, uh, you know, the Hollywood hierarchy. Um, so it was a historical event, first well, X-ray. Well, I don't know. It's just that we just made a ton of money. I mean, the film grossed uh, uh, in excess of $26 million, cost only 67000 to make. And, you know, now that's when tickets were a dollar and a half. You're, you're looking at an $80 million picture. Right. Played for 58 weeks on straight, at State Street in Chicago. Very, very significant movie, yes. Now, uh, what would you say is the big difference between, say, your first X-rated movie and a lot of X-rated movies today? Well, the, I, I don't put down anything else. I'm right. in favor of freedom uh, insofar as what you put on the screen. Mm -hmm. uh, they call them triple X. They're, uh, I hate the term, uh, for example, hardcore. They're, mm -hmm. I think, films that are, are very much admired and likened by a wide sector of our audiences. I see nothing wrong with that. I, I'm upset when they are taken to task in courts. I've had my, my time in court with this uh, uh, Charles Keating. You're familiar with him, the mm -hmm. SNL guy. He mm -hmm. tried to bury me with Vixen. It was uh, banned in the state of uh, Ohio, and I spent a lot of money uh, fighting him. And I know every noontime uh, when I was working on dolls, I'd get this horrendous call from my lawyer, Elmer Gertz, and say, burn all the posters, burn the trailers, and so forth. We've got to come up with new material. Fortunately, uh, Justice Berger uh, came up with a decision when Keating tried to get me into the Supreme Court by denying it. Mm -hmm. Of course, I rejoice in Kene uh, Keating's position today. You know, <laughs> Things I, have sort of turned around. Yeah. I, uh, I, I, isn't life sweet? <laughs> now, we actually have, uh, we have a, a clip of Faster Pussycat Kill Kill. Now, right. do you want to uh, set this clip up for us? Uh, probably this is the second most successful film I've made, largely because women like it. It stars a lady, uh, incredible lady, Natura Satana. We had a, 
a tour together in, in Paris just recently because the film is being opened up for the second time in video. And the French are extremely nostalgic about uh, uh, actresses and actors that are older. Mm -hmm. I mean, they, they cared for Marlena Dietrich when she was 82 years of age, and now Tour is, of course, older now. It looks wonderful, and uh, the adoration was very, very exciting. But here you see a film that, that uh, probably, um, well, it was made for, as most of my films, was relatively little, little money, but there's an awful lot of care and, uh, and effort on my part, and the fact, too, that they live. They keep playing. They keep playing and playing, and they never cease. Now, this is a, a sequence in which uh, a tour is doing away with a demented uh, um, actor in this film, Fa Faster Pussycat Kill Kill. He's in a, his, his name is Dennis Bush. In reality, she's actually a, a, a stockbroker. But he was a very muscular man. And um, Tura is dealing with the family. She's got to get rid of all these people. And she decides uh, um, that one way to get rid of him is deal with him by uh, um, brutalizing him with a Porsche uh, car. All right, let's take a look at that. I'm sorry, we're gonna we're we're out of time right now, but we'll be right back with uh, Paula Newby Fraser. Thank you very much. <laughs>